Sony Venus 1 and Sony Venus 2 Rialto systems are a big plus for commercial and cinema industry in shots like when you're gonna shoot interior of a car or uh, small congested areas and uh, for a very long uh, handheld shots uh, it's a very good plus to have with you and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can switch the sensor of sony venus one with the rialto before that i just want to tell you that sony venus one and sony venus two rialto systems are not cross compatible you cannot use the reality of sony venus one with sony venus two be warned that you are playing with some very expensive tools very expensive piece of equipment and if you mess up it will cost a lot plus you will have very bad repetition on set so i would highly recommend you not to skip any part of this video and before we start what you need to have is you need to have a flat screwdriver you need to have 316 allen key and then you need to have 3 mm allen key and uh, after that what you need to do is you need to make the camera body fully naked you remove all the kids basically i'm having this kid whatever the kid you're gonna have you'll need to remove it all so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the top handle then i'll remove the top plate side plate and then the bottom and then it will be naked so let's just do it so as you can see I have this top handle first of all I'll remove this so to remove that I first unlock and then I will take this pin up so basically I remove this pin and then I slide it all the way back it's off and I'll put it aside now what I'll do is I'll remove the side bracket first of all and to do that I'll need a 3mm allen key I'll take this So I've removed the so I have removed the side bracket. I'll keep it here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the top. So to remove the top, what I'll need is I'll need to remove these four screws and then I'll just uh, press the button of the V mount uh, battery adapter and it will come off. So so now I have removed these four screws. I will just disconnect this connector. And then I'll just press this button and there you go the top is off and then I am left with the bottom now so all I, ha I have is as you can see I have three screws here so the flat screwdriver for the shoulder and for the sliding plate adapter There you go. Now the camera is fully naked. I will keep it aside. Now I'm gonna play with our beautiful uh, Rialto. And first of all, I'll remove these two. Just remove the cable. And just for now, I'm gonna keep the cage away because I'm having a bit less space on my Magliner. So let's just keep it here. And this is pretty simple. So what you do is, you remove the two screws of the v-mount plate okay so you can then take the cage out because if you don't then you cannot take the cage out it will be blocking that so it's having 316 screws so first of all what i'll do is i'll just move these 316 screws there you go okay the plate is off as you can see put it here now i just need to take the cage off so to do that i'll need the flat screwdriver it should have two screws uh, i don't know why it's not having the other one so one here and then the two on the other side it should be So now our cage is off and we have to remove six screws from the Sony Venus uh, camera body and then six screws from uh, the Rialto. So these are the two first screws and then after that we have one, two, three, this one and the fourth one as you can see. So I'll remove these two first so we can take the cage out of the way. And be very gentle when you're removing it. There you go. I removed this. Now I'll take our cage off. Okay, I'll put it aside. Now I'll have to remove the sensor of the camera and then remove this part of the Rialto and this part will come here and then the sensor will go there 
and that's how it's gonna work so let me just remove the front of the camera first of all and to do that what you need to do is you need to remove these two screws first of all and then four screws in front total of six screws and then it will come off if you forget to remove these two screws it will not come off so keep it in mind not four screws six screws so let's start with these two screws so screw one screw two screw three screw four So these screws are off as you can see I will just leave it as is here and then I'll remove these four screws now now we are ready to switch the sensor from camera to this and to remove the sensor you should be very careful just don't take it like this hold the camera from sides and from four corners just push it up very gently that's how you take it out so you have taken the sensor out so now I'm gonna show you something as you can see here the heat shrink of Sony Venus 1 is way smaller than Sony Venus 2 this part of Sony Venus 2 is bigger that's why the Rialto of Sony Venus 2 is different because on on the back of the Rialto it's taking very small place as you can see but for that one it's taking a bigger space so that's the only difference in Sony Venus 1 and Sony Venus 2 Rialtos so I have taken my sensor off and after that what I need to do is I need to remove this first of all there you go so I've taken this off now and now I will need to put this on the camera and then I put this connector and then the sensor will go there so first of all I'll connect this to the camera and to do that what you need to do is you need to make sure that your pins these pins are gonna align here so make sure it's going on the proper place and as you can see it's having pins which are sitting here and here so just be very careful with that and let's just do it and never push it if you feel like it's it's not sitting properly just take it out and try to do it again but never push it okay sitting properly now I'll just screw it a bit okay now I'll just tighten them a bit on all the sides but don't tight one fully and then the other one just go one by one with all and uh, keep them even so we don't have any pressure on the connectors when we are uh, doing it so now I will and hand tighten it don't tighten it like fully tightened like grips will do it just be gentle with the camera okay now this part is done I'll keep the camera here and then now we have to connect the sensor with this part and to do that same thing is we have to connect these to these connectors these pins will match with each other and that's how we get the connection from the camera so as you can see I go here and I'll take it this way very gentle there you go it's done now we'll have to put the four screws on now as you can see we are done with this I'll have to connect this part to the camera front and then we'll test if it's done properly so do that what I need to do is you can see these connectors and then you can see the pins are gonna go in these holes so just keep the order in the in your mind and then you have these two pins which are going in these two holes so we should go this way and be very careful guys there you go Okay, it's sitting properly now and now I'll just screw it in. We are we are ready with the Rialto now. Now it's time to test if it's done properly and the way to test is to have a battery connected and then you'll have a light here turning on which is indicating that it's done properly. If the light is not coming up then it there is something wrong. So I'll connect the battery and then I'll turn on the camera. 
and if it's not done properly the camera will not turn on by the way guys and you have this power if this power indicator is turning on then it's done properly if not then you have done something wrong guys now as we are done with the Rialto build next thing which you need to keep in mind is this that you should take a BNC out from monitor out and put it in the monitor in if you don't do that you will put a monitor here for the DP to see and then when you're connecting the BNC you will not be able to see the video because you haven't done that connection then to take power you need to do another thing you need to have a 3 pin to 3 pin RS cable and you connect that here as you can see 24 out and 24 in so you take the out from here you put it in like this I'll do it for you now you are having power here here and if you didn't do that you will not have power so after you're done with the setup these two things are important as well not to have any confusions on set i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the videos which are related to our industry and which are not being discussed a lot thank you so much for watching